Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Now, it's going to be the start of the Maker Central builds now. So we're going to be making two builds for Maker Central. This is video one of however many series of videos I make for the first build. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen a sneaky little peek of the first build, which looks something like this. Now, this is going to be a hopefully a lovely sword. I've got some purple heart. I've got some beach. I'm going to use some resin. I'm going to probably do some tiger wood for the handle, maybe even a paduk handle, and some walnut guards and pommel. Now remember, this is only the first build. I'm building two things for Maker Central giveaway this year. I'm going to be making a lovely sword and a beautiful axe. So you have two chances of winning on the Saturday and the Sunday. So don't forget to come to Maker Central. I've left linkies in the description for you. If you haven't got Maker Central tickets already, help yourself. Make sure you do come. I've actually got a stall this year, if you didn't know. You can buy some mallets. You can buy some mini mallets. You can see all the beautiful things. The axe, the hammer, the swords. Come and see me. But we've got to get this build moving. I've not got a lot of time. I've got a lot of building to do. So let's get this build started. Let's go. So this is the design we're going for. It is a sort of Viking Nordic inspired it's like a Nordic Viking style inspired, I don't want to say short sword, but one handed sword. So I'm going to get this purple heart cut down to size, because this needs to be a little bit thinner, but I don't want to waste the entire board making it too thin. Right, so I have cut these down to roughly six and a half mil. That's not any particular number, it's just the number that it's come to. So they are nice and thin, and I think together, after sanding, that should make a decent thickness sword and give me plenty of meat to do the resin. So now it's time to get them all glued together. But this has been gluing for a good few hours. So we're gonna whack it out of clamps. Last try. Finally, then we'll square it up and see where we fall with the template. Okay, so I've taken that down to roughly 16.5 mil in total thickness, which is still looking fairly straight. I've got a little bit of delamination down here, which is frustrating, but is not a problem because I can always put the handle down at that end. I've got to be honest. I am procrastinating right now <laughs> because the next part of this film is to draw a cool little design on here which I will then use the drill press to cut out and files and stuff to make it look cool and then I'm going to fill it with resin. <laughs> the main problem that I've got is I can't draw. <laughs> so um, trying to draw a design on here isn't easy.
I have a hell of a lot more work to do on this one. So it's going all right. This is, this is, I may have to get another template, but it gives you a rough idea of what the giveaway sword is gonna be. Now I've got to do some more designing. I need to go and make some calls and order some resin. And I'm gonna leave the video here. So thank you very much for watching. If you wanna check out last year's build videos, I'll leave them on the screen for you now. And uh, I will continue to do some really bad drawing. So I'll see you in the next video where hopefully this will all be designed out and I will do some more cutting. Bye.